All right. Well, welcome back. In the previous previous video, I did not have this. This is a new bench I picked up at Family Farm and Home for seventy bucks. I think it's pretty worth it. Got these little pegboard stuff to hang all my tools up. It's in the RCs. So today. We're gonna be fixing this because this broke again. So check the body up. So that's what we're gonna be fixing. The outer tie rods today. And the bumper. Because the bumper is still broke. And I finally what to fix it. So Yep, we're going to be doing that today. So, these are upgraded links. They're adjustable. So, we are going to tear this into this thing. But, we're going to show you how to. Okay, so this is the part number for the arm up bumper set. It comes with everything front and rear bumper. So, I only need this part because this is the part that broke. So, and then the part number for the turnbuckle set is right there. This was like 20 and the bumper set was like 10 off of Amazon. So, then you're going to need a 2 millimeter hex. These little hex bit drives are pretty nice. My brother-in-law let me use these, so these are pretty nice, so. It's kind of very simple to replace these. You just basically unscrew both ends and you just put new ones in. Make sure the they're the same length as the old ones. So that's like this one broke. I tried to JB weld it. it. Didn't work, didn't hold, so I had to get new ones. So we're just going to replace these. There's the other broken piece. So. They are different lengths, so what I'm going to do is take the other side off because I'm going to replace both sides anyways, so that way I have a reference of how long it needs to be, so and then slap them on. So there are two different lengths in this set. There's, there's the longer one and the shorter one. The shorter one is for the steering, and then the longer ones are for the camber right here. The camber adjustments. So now I can adjust the camber if I want to. So I'm not going to replace those yet because I have not broke those yet. So, and if you get adjustable turnbuckles, and if they're not the same length, can literally just line them up and just adjust them is what you need. So you can just stick a screw in here, stick a screw in here, and just keep turning until they're adjusted properly the way you want them. So so now I'm gonna get these back on and go from there. All right, now we have the turnbuckles on. It steers both ways. Yay. Hopefully I can stop breaking stuff in this thing. Now, change this part. So, it's going to be two screws here, two screws here, and then 
you'll be able to get this whole piece off and there's two screws here. If you look, screw there, there, and then there's two back ones, and then this piece will come off, and then screw there, screw there. Okay, so now this piece is off. So now, if you see, a little hole right there where you can access the screw to hold this piece on. <clears throat> Don't mix your screws up either because they're all different sizes. So now I'm going to do the reverse process and put it all back together. All right. So now that piece is fixed. Now this is not flapping around. Now these are fixed. They're not broken anymore. This one wasn't broken, but this one was. So all with one tool, two millimeter X-ray. There's a the broken parts spare parts so there's going to be a run video in this because i haven't changed anything so it's all basically the same on how the last video was just replacing those two parts because they broke so until i break something else on this there'll be i don't know when so or maybe uh i'll explain that when I get the parts for to fix this thing. So till next time. Just a little snippet for uh, what's coming next. Uh, yeah, no bueno. Guess it's been broken for a while. Went to go test it and found out this side, the RC, had a lot of camber that way. So I went to go put the extra turnbuckles I had on there. Went to uh, nut and bolt check it and well, found out this was broke. So I guess I will be putting new hubs on this. All the way around or the front, I don't know. So that's obviously going to be next video.